history of steel in Sri Lanka. Steel manufacture in Sri Lanka dates back to 300 BC, proof of which is found in excavations in Samanalabeva. Historical data in Syria indicates that the world's best steel during that time was produced in Sivahala or Sri Lanka. Carrying forward the torch, the emergence of Melwire as an addition to Sri Lanka's steel heritage. Welcome to the Melwire Group, where world-class quality blends with a Sri Lankan heritage. Founded in 2002, the Melwire Group remains true to its commitment to making steel of the highest standard while redefining the industry. As the only fully Sri Lankan-owned company in this dynamic industry, we brim with pride as we carry forward the torch passed on to us by our ancestors. The Melwire Group is well on its way to add to Sri Lanka's renown as a world-class steel manufacturer. We tower over our competition and have made our presence felt in the lives of millions of people through our contribution towards civil and industrial construction. The Melwire Group broadens further into Melwire Rolling and Melwire Industries. Melwire's fully automated factory, located in Ekala, Jaila, has been in operation since 2002 and has been the key factor in Melwire's capability in meeting stringent quality standards demanded by clients. In addition to this, to meet the rising demand for high quality steel, Melwire embarked on a development program by establishing a second fully automated plant which specializes in the manufacture of structural steel. As market leaders in terms of continuous innovation, quality and quantity, it is only right that we spearhead Sri Lanka's infrastructural development programs and through the years we have delivered on that premise. Manufacturing Process QST Bars The manufacturing process, also known as the rolling process, commences with reheating the raw materials to appropriate temperatures. The heated billets are gradually reduced in size to suit specific requirements. The billets reach the end of the line at high temperatures and the semi-finished products then continue their journey to undergo a specialized function called quenching and self-tempering. The steel is sent through the quenching box where the outer surface is suddenly cooled, leaving the core hot. When the bars exit the quenching box, the inner heat tempers the surface. This technique facilitates the strengthening of the bars to conform to the RB500 MPA grade of SLS 375 and also imparts superior strength and toughness to the bars. The strengthened bars are then sent through the automatic cooling bed. Melwa CTD grade 460 RB also will be produced only on special request for projects. Regular inspections are conducted throughout the process to ensure the finished products meet specified unit weight and dimensional properties. Finally, the bars are bundled, tagged and made ready for delivery. Melwa's newest initiative, Wire Rods. The Melwire Group took a bold step in February 2012 with the launch of its block mill facility. This marks a huge milestone in the Sri Lankan economy because prior to Melwire's initiative, Sri Lanka's need for wire rods was completely satisfied through imports. This block mill, the first of its kind in Sri Lanka, aims to fulfill the country's demand for wire rods in its entirety. The main objective of the mill is to introduce new technology and keep improving on quality standards for which the Melwa brand has been known through the years. 
We use special billets with low carbon in order to stay on par with SAE 1008 quality standards.